Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of Brain Teasers Part 8, we shall be taking few word problems related to mensuration. So let's start with the first question. The first question is the sides other than hypotenuse of a right triangle are in the ratio of 3 to 4. A rectangle is described on its hypotenuse. The hypotenuse being the longer side of the rectangle. The breadth of the rectangle is 4 fifth of its length. Find the shortest side of the right triangle if the perimeter of the rectangle is 180 centimeter. Now by the look of the question it looks little complicated. Let me explain with the help of figure. Suppose I take a right angle triangle. Yes, this is my 90 degree. And the side opposite to 90 degree is hypotenuse, which is the longest side. So this is my longest side, which is the hypotenuse, right? Now they are saying the sides other than the hypotenuse, that means the perpendicular and the base are in the ratio of 3 to 4. So I have assumed let my perpendicular side be 3x and my base be 4x. So this is my story of right angle triangle. Further, they are saying a rectangle is described on its hypotenuse. So this is my hypotenuse, which I have taken H. On this, I will describe a rectangle, means put a rectangle on it. And hypotenuse being the longer side of the rectangle. So longer side of the rectangle is the length of the rectangle. So the hypotenuse is actually the length of the rectangle. Now further, they are saying the breadth of the rectangle is 4 fifth of its length. So if the length is A centimeters, I can say the breadth will be 4 fifth of A centimeters because they are saying the breadth of the rectangle is 4 fifth of its length. Further, they are saying find the shortest side of the right triangle. Shortest side. So which is the shortest side? 3x or 4x? Because hypotenuse is the longest side. So it can't be. So shortest side is 3x. So we have to find the value of 3x if the perimeter of the rectangle is 180 centimeter but the, what we are given we are given the perimeter of this rectangle what is perimeter perimeter is the length of the boundary boundary is length plus length breadth plus breadth the sum of all these length and breadth is the perimeter and it is 180 centimeter so from this perimeter of the rectangle first of all we will find the length and the breadth then this length of the rectangle becomes the hypotenuse. Now in right angle triangle, we can apply the Pythagoras theorem to find the other values of perpendicular and base and the value of the perpendicular is our answer. So this is how we are going to do this question, right? Now let us start with the solution. Before that, let us see what is given to us. So given to us are the sides of a right angle triangle that is 3 is to 4. Breadth of the rectangle is 4 fifth of the length. Perimeter of the rectangle is given 180 centimeter. And we have to find the shortest side of the right triangle. That is we have to find 3x, right? Value of 3x we have to find. Now let the length of uh, the rectangle be A. So breadth will be 4 by 5 of A. Perimeter of rectangle, we know it is twice of length plus breadth, which is equal to 180. It is given to us in the question. Now perimeter is 180, so we can put the value of length and breadth. So twice of length is A, breadth is 4 fifth of A is equal to 180. Now we shall take LCM. So 5 is the LCM. 5A plus 4A upon 5 is equal to 180. And now 5A plus 4A is 9A. 9A upon 5 into 2 of course is equal to 180. Now keep A on one side and cross multiply. So you will write 180 into 5 upon 2 into 9. And further when you will simplify it you will get 50. So the value of A has come 50 and what was our A? A was the length. So length of the rectangle is A that was 50 centimeter and breadth of the rectangle 
is 4 fifth of a that is 4 fifth of 50 which is 40 centimeter so now we have calculated the length of the rectangle length of the rectangle has come 50 centimeters and breadth of the rectangle has come 40 centimeters right now this length is equal to this hypotenuse so hypotenuse also we can say that it is 50 centimeter right and now we say that perpendicular is 3x base is 4x hypotenuse is 50 now we can apply pythagoras theorem to solve it right so now we can say length of rectangle is equal to hypotenuse of right angle triangle which is equal to 50 centimeter so we have got hypotenuse equal to 50 centimeter now we can assume perpendicular and base sides of right angle triangle let it be 3x and 4x respectively now in right angle triangle we shall apply pythagoras theorem which says that perpendicular square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square now perpendicular we have assumed to be 3x and base we have assumed to be 4x so we shall write 3x whole square plus 4x whole square is equal to 50 whole square now 3x whole square is 9x square 4x whole square is 16x square is equal to 2500 9x square plus 16x square is 25x square is equal to 2500 now x square is equal to 2500 divided by 25 you just have to cross multiply which is equal to 100 now further x is equal to root of 100 which is 10 now we have to find the shortest side so shortest side is 3x that is the perpendicular so 3 into 10 is equal to 30 centimeter so this is how we have solved this question first we started with perimeter and found the length and the breadth of the rectangle now this length became the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle and further after applying the pythagoras theorem we found the shortest side of the right angle triangle right now let us take one more question this is extra question which i have added to this video the perimeter of a rectangle is 100 meters if the length is decreased by 2 meters and the breadth is decreased by 3 meters the area increases by 44 meters square find the length and breadth of the rectangle now over here neither the length is given nor the breadth is given only thing given is perimeter of the given rectangle that is 100 meters so we shall start with the perimeter perimeter we know it is twice of length plus breadth which is equal to 100 so we can say length plus breadth is 50 100 divided by 2 we shall get 50 50 meters is the sum of length and breadth now let us assume let the length be x meter so breadth will be 50 minus x meter right now area of the given rectangle is length into breadth so we can say length is x and breadth is 50 minus x so x into 50 minus x is the area of the original rectangle or area of the given rectangle right now further in the question they are saying if the length is decreased by 2 meters and the breadth is increased by 3 meters the area increases by 44 meters square find the length and the breadth of the rectangle so now we have new dimensions we have new length x minus 2 meters and new breadth that is 50 minus x plus 3 is equal to 53 minus x meters so we will get the area of new rectangle as length into breadth that is x minus 2 into 53 minus x now according to the given condition we can say the difference between the area of new rectangle and the area of the given rectangle is 44 that means area of new rectangle is more than the area of the given rectangle and by how much it is more it is more by 44 meters square now area of new rectangle is x minus 2 into 53 minus x area of given rectangle we have already calculated x into 50 minus x now difference between the two is 44 now we shall solve these two brackets these are binomial into binomial we shall find their product so x into 
53 is 53x x into minus x is minus x square minus 2 into 53 is minus 106 minus 2 into minus x is plus 2x further minus x into 50 is minus 50x and minus x into minus x is plus x square is equal to 44. Now if you observe minus x square and x square will stand cancel right and uh, over here 53x plus 2x that is 55x minus 50x we shall get 5x minus 106 as it is is equal to 4 further take 106 on the other side it will become plus 106 so 5x is equal to 44 plus 106 44 plus 106 is 50 150 so 5x is equal to 150 further x is equal to 150 divided by 5 which is equal to 30 so value of x has come 30 and what was x x was the length of the given rectangle so it has come 30 meters and breadth of the given rectangle was 50 minus 30 which is equal to 20 meters so this is how we have calculated the length and the breadth of the given rectangle so now as we have the length and the breadth as 30 meters and 20 meters respectively we can verify our result also so area of the given rectangle we can multiply length into breadth 30 into 20 which is equal to 600 meter square now further new length is decreased by 2 meters so 30 minus 2 is 28 meters new breadth is increased by 3 so 20 plus 3 that is 23 meters and we can find the area of the new rectangle that is 28 into 23 which is equal to 644 meter square so now we have the area of the given rectangle as 600 meter square we have the area of the new rectangle as 644 meter square the difference between them we can find out 644 minus 600 which is equal to 44 meter square and which is same as given in the question the question in the question also they had said area increases by 44 meter square so when we change the dimensions of length and breadth the area increases by 44 that means the difference between the two areas is 44 meter square and that we have verified also so hence we can say the solution is verified hence our answer is correct right so with this we come to end of this video hope you have understood both these questions related to mensuration in case you have any doubt you can always write in the comment section Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a great day ahead.